Welcome back. A North Carolina lawmaker leading an effort to impeach the Deputy Attorney General. Congressman Mark Meadows introduced the articles of impeachment against Rod Rosenstein this past week. Rosenstein is the top Department of Justice official overseeing the special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling. Meadows says the DOJ has continued to hide information about the Russia investigation. House Speaker, though, Paul Ryan coming out and saying he does not support this effort. Parker, I'll start with you. Um, how do you feel about this? Because as we've said in the past, the House is in charge of oversight in situations like that. That is their job. Others say, well, that's fine, but that guy is still in the middle of an investigation that we don't know the details about. And they've already shared, I think, something like 800,000 pages of documents with House members so far. So for everything I can see, I think that there is an issue with process. And I think, you know, we've got uh, Mark Meadows um, looking for impeachment. We've also got, you know, Trey Gowdy in South Carolina yeah. who's just saying yeah. that this investigation is taking far too long. So I think that there is there's some um, animosity and some contention built up around how long this is taking, the uncertainty. And there's no doubt that this investigation is only fueling the divide between our country. So I would, I would hope and think that Mark Meadows is just looking for an opportunity to try and um, escalate this and move it along quickly, uh, just like Trey Gowdy is, but I, I can't be certain about that. I don't know yeah. if I support an impeachment of Rodenstein, yeah. but I, I would like to see, like I think everybody else would, if there was wrongdoing, I think you'll see a lot of people admit that we need to accept that and we need to obviously um, penalize accordingly. If there was no wrongdoing, hopefully we can move on and, and I have think, conversations. I, 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 th I think uh, you're absolutely right. I think that I think that a lot of people feel that this investigation is, is dividing the country and, and sort of preoccupying a lot of people's attention otherwise. But, I mean, when you look at it and you look at past special counsels, whether it's Kenneth Starr, you know, and, and Whitewater investigation in the Clintons or, or, or Nixon, I mean, these things usually take years and, and we're just past the year mark for this point. Right, and when it comes to impeachment, the standard is high crimes and misdemeanors. What high crime and misdemeanor did he commit? Procrastination is not a crime or else we'd all be in jail. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that's the big problem here. Uh, this smacks of politics um, and quite frankly, Rod Rosenstein is a Republican. And so I think that this just shows, you know, this was a complete political stunt. It's going nowhere, thank goodness. This investigation needs to play out to its logical conclusion for everyone involved. Get it all out there so we can yep. all know what's going on. By the way, we should say that Congressman Meadows has a standing invitation to come on Flashpoint <laughs> anytime he wishes he could come in and pay us a visit. Uh, sort of in the same topic, some bombshells this week from former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen. He says President Trump knew about a meeting in 2016 between his son and a Russian lawyer. You know that infamous meeting at Trump Tower? The president's current lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, says Cohen is not credible. And the reports are not true, even though he said just a couple months ago that he was a very, very honest man. But that all aside, if this checks out, it would be a complete contradiction to what the Trump team has said since day one, claiming the president had no knowledge of the meeting. Thoughts? So um, generally speaking, I would say that this is disappointing, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, the one thing that I think we can all count on is we like to um, we like to believe that our politicians have high integrity. I know that. Sure man that's sitting next to me does, and yeah. I'd like to see others um, follow that same suit. And when we find out that uh, a politician has been actively lying, it's really disappointing. So candidly, I hope that it's, I hope that it's unfounded, and I hope it's not true. If it is, you know, I would lose, um, I would lose a decent amount of, um, I don't want to call it respect, but maybe trust, because I don't see anything wrong necessarily with opposition research. Sure. And I'm not saying that he should have been speaking with Russia or not. Yeah. And once we find out whether that happened, we can make some assumptions or make some judgments based off of that. So the op research isn't what necessarily gets me. It's the fact that if we were lying about it, or if, if the sure. administration prior to getting elected lied about it, that's an issue for me. And I think it's going to be an issue for a lot of people. You say it's always the cover up. Right. They, they, get, they get you in trouble. Is this really a smoking gun that some people are making it out to be? I mean, the fact of the matter is this is just emblematic of the soap opera that continues uh, in the White House. And it seems like this is just more of the same old drama. Uh, and quite frankly, I think a lot of people are getting tired of it. Yeah. OK, so make your predictions one year from now. Where will we stand with this investigation? Goodness. Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that we could very well see. I think we will see more indictments. I can definitely tell you that. And I think there will probably be more indictments within Trump's inner circle, whether or not it's Trump. Uh, who knows? It's, too hard to say right now. One year exactly from now, the same spot. One year from now, I, I hope we're not, but exactly the same spot. You know, people going after each other, still looking yeah. for answers. Hopefully, closer together. Hopefully, yeah. All right, more flash one after this.